Welcome back everyone. So today let's talk about this movie Cry Wolf, which came out in the 2000s that I got in this four pack because I thought it looked like, I really love Slither, I think that's a great movie, but I hadn't seen these three and I really wanted to see Cry Wolf. That picture, I don't know, like got me invested in wanting to see the movie because I love slasher movies. I thought that looked like a cool poster for a slasher, but um, I'm gonna keep this spoiler free, but this movie is not the movie I expected from the cover. Um, without knowing anything, I didn't expect this movie to be what it was. Um, and that's what I really loved about this movie, because this movie actually is really awesome. Um, first off, starting out, I loved the score. I thought the score was really moving and really cool, and it was a really creepy, eerie vibe, uh, eerie vibe score. And I thought that the main character, like Owen, is totally fine, but this character Owen Matthews moves to this uh, this new school, and he meets this girl named Dodger and these other characters, and they play this game online of who's the wolf, and it's kind of like Cry Wolf, and they create this fictionalized rumor that there's a killer on campus, but now there's a supposed person that's tracking down these people who made the rumors. Um, and I think that's a really cool plot, and I think that based on not knowing anything about this movie before I saw it, it really did give this movie a one-up for me, just being a really inventive movie, like for this horror genre. Like, it was not what I expected to be watching it. Um, and like I said, it's about this person, this he keeps emailing everybody saying that the rumors are true, like this is actually happening, even though they made up this fictionalized rumor. I think that's a cool idea, and I think that this does a different job of being a kind of horror movie I didn't expect it to be. I thought it was just going to be like a slasher, but it wasn't. And I love slashers, but it just wasn't that type of genre. It really wasn't. Um, and But there are kills in this. I guess that's not really a spoiler, but the kills are not really shown, but the way they are executed is interesting, if that makes sense. And if you see this, you'll understand what I mean, but they're executed in a way that's different than normal. For me, like, they feel like a, no a different type of way of using kills in this movie, and I really enjoyed that. I appreciated that. Um, so, the genre I guess I can give this is that it's a mystery movie. Like, it's not really a slasher. It's, it's about, like, these people trying to figure out who the person is that's, like, emailing them about the rumors being true that they made up. Um... And without getting into anything, I thought that the ending of this movie was honestly what made the movie. Even though the rest of the movie was totally fine, this ending was a really cool twist ending where it threw everything that you knew about it under the bus, but not in a way where it felt like it was it was like tacked on. It felt like it actually made sense whenever this twist happened at the end. Um, and whenever I saw, whenever the twist happened, I was like. Why didn't I expect, why didn't I notice that? I noticed the hints throughout, but I just didn't put two and two together. But I was just like, man, that's so cool. That was such a cool twist. I enjoyed this a lot. And I thought for like a, a horror movie that's not talked about much, I thought that this really should be talked about more because I thought that it was just an, more of an inventive horror movie than like I usually see. Like I felt like there was more character and plot put into this and I thought that the way they diverted expectations just by, like, how it, the movie looks, like, by the poster and by the plot synopsis, it didn't seem like the same type of movie, so I, I enjoyed that a lot. I really did... Ugh, man. I really did feel like it really did blow me away in a lot of senses. And it's not, like, the best horror movie ever made, but it's a really good one. It's a really solid one that I feel like is really an underrated gem. Watching it for the first time, this one did really blow me away, so I really did enjoy Cry Wolf, so... I want you guys to go out and see this. This is a really cool movie. And I personally enjoyed it a lot. So tell me tell me down below what you guys thought of Cry Wolf if you have seen it. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching.